Hello Year 10, welcome to an introduction to trigonometry which um, is just a revision of um, what you would have covered last year just to make sure we're all on the same page and uh, this one uh, we're just going to cover the basics and then our next video I'll do will be looking at how to answer some of the questions. So trigonometry hinges on knowing um, the parts of a right angle triangle, basically the sides of them. And it all hinges on um, which angle we're looking at. Now we know that um, with a right angle triangle, one of the angles is a right angle, and always opposite that one. Here we go. Okay, I've got ahead of myself. Imagine you're looking at a right angle A, so you're standing here, I'll have a look. Here we are looking uh, from angle A into the triangle. The hypotenuse will always be the longest side opposite the right angle. So hypotenuse, big name, um, opposite the right angle, and it's always the longest side. The side that is then clo joining up with the hypotenuse at that angle is adjacent. And then the opposite side is the other side of the triangle to where the angle is. Okay, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. If we um, change the angle back to over to here, it's still not the right angle, but we're on the other, other side. Then the uh, sides swap around in the names. So a lot depends on where this angle is. So the hypotenuse is still the hypotenuse. But now, opposite B is this side is now the opposite side not and it was the adjacent side before and now this side is the adjacent side because it's next to the angle so it all depends on where this angle is okay next step the three ratios and they each these ratios like a fraction and refer to two uh, any two of the sides so there we are so that word pronounced sine is an angle measurement, no, sorry, is a ratio, a fraction, comparing the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So sine of A is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Cosine, or cos for short, adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tangent, or tan, opposite over adjacent. And then... We have, even when we change the angle to B, it's still the same name of um, ratio or angle, and it's still opposite. So sine is still opposite over hypotenuse, but this time that's the opposite, and that's a hypotenuse. So you always compare it to the angle that it's given. Very important. Okay, I can't stress that enough. Depends on which angle is given to us as to which side is opposite, which side is adjacent. And then there's a way to remember it. Let's have a look. Sokotoa. So that comes from sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine or cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and ten is opposite over adjacent. That's the way to remember it, Sokotoa. Yep, all good. Examples. Okay, I'll do some quick examples. Before the uh, screen comes up, I know we better do this. First we need to find sine, cosine and tangent of angle P. Angle P is here. So we're doing here, yeah, that's the adjacent and that's the opposite. If we were doing angle Q, that would be the adjacent and that would be the opposite. But we're dealing with P. Okay, let's have a look. Sokotoa. So the sine of P is opposite over hypotenuse. Here we are. So opposite over a hypotenuse, a fraction, 16 over 20. Cos or cosine of P is adjacent over hypotenuse. There's our adjacent. 
And there's iPod News, 12 over 20. 10 is opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. 10 of P is 16 over 12. Okay. If we do the angle Q, so we're now referring to this one, the ratios are different because we've got different opposite, different adjacent, but the hypotenuse is the same. So a sine opposite 12 over hypotenuse 20. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent, so for Q, adjacent is 16 and hypotenuse is 20 and the 10. Opposite is 12, 16 is the adjacent. And that'll do. Thank you.